Hi guys, um, your old DM here. I'm going to be showing you today how to make a very simple fantasy map. Um, this is going to be like really not a complicated one at all. It's going to be almost like zoomed up to space level. So if you want to like make a world uh, without too much detail, uh, just the continents and stuff like that, um, that's what I'll be doing today. So I'm actually going to um, be doing this in Photoshop CS6. So um, it's if you've got that, that's going to be handy for you. Um, otherwise, it should translate to Photoshop uh, of other kinds uh, and probably to GIMP as well. I'm not really so sure. I don't really use GIMP. So uh, I'm going to call it um, example, yeah, because it's an example map. Um, width and height, I'm going to set to 2024. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to make it a widescreen map. 1600 by 900, just like the overlay. Uh, resolution, I'm going to make it a little bit higher than it was for the overlay. I'm going to set it 300 pixels per inch. And color mode is going to be 16 bit RGB color. Bam. So here's our, wow, that's large. Uh, here's our map to begin with. I'm going to call this layer Ocean. Then I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to call this one Land. Now the ocean. Lots of ways to do this. Um, one way of doing it is to try and render clouds. So if you would like to have a look here, I'm going to say Filter, Render, Clouds. And there you go. That's kind of oceany. Um, now you can change this a lot uh, by using these little tools over here. So if you wanted to invert the colors, nothing would happen. That's interesting. Um, if you wanted to, like for example, double click on the layer, um, you can do all sorts of different stuff here. So if you wanted to overlay a color, you click on color overlay, and then you could bring it down here to overlay or soft light. Let's go for that. You find a little blue color. And there is a kind of cloudy looking ocean. Um, so I'm not too crazy about this ocean method myself. Um, so I probably won't use it. Um, I'll actually just get rid of this layer. And I'll make another one called ocean. I'm going to move it underneath the land. Because that's where the ocean is. Uh, and I will probably end up just um, filling this with some colour. Uh, oh, nothing there, that's why. Edit, fill. We'll use the foreground color. Okay, so now it's red, but because we have the color, color overlay, it's actually the wrong color. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to get my brush. I'm gonna set it to like 400 pixels. I'm gonna set the flow to like 7%. And I'm gonna pick uh, quite a dark blue and I'm going to try and figure out where the darker bits of my, my ocean are going to be. So let's say over here and, and here, around the edges really. Alright, you can see what's happening. It's kind of very slowly um, uh, changing the color, but in a non kind of jarring way. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to pick different shades of blue and kind of build it up. Um, this is definitely not perfect. Uh, it's not the best way to do it. It's the only way I know how. Well, it's the way that I think ends up looking quite good, is what I'll say. Okay, so, I mean, that's fine for now. What you can do next, if you want to, you can get this blur tool. Crack, oh, that's too way too high. Crank it up a bit, blurring these colors together even more, um, if you want to. I think that's fine for now. We've got uh, a little bit of an ocean going on. We don't want to focus too much. We're not going to take too much time on this map. It's just going to be a relatively quick one. Then uh, we're going to click on our land. And I'm going to change the color to like uh, dark green. And I'm going to select some brushes. So I'm going to click this tool here. And in here I have all my brushes. Um, I have lots of brushes. Um, but the one I'll be using right now is called Land Brushes by Bon Vanello. Um, I got them online. We're going to say Append, and we'll put them at the end here. So, let's see. What these are, are continents. Very, very useful. Um, if I just... Oh, the flow is too low. Very, very useful. It's got a ready-made sort of continent. So if you have a look here, bang. 
just like that. Um, so I'm going to start adding these guys. You can mix them together and stuff. Um, kind of willy-nilly wherever I feel like. Making islands. Um, make like a big land mass that kind of hangs off the edge of the map a little bit if you like. Like this. Um, <clears throat> and you know, some islands down here. Um, now it is a fantasy map so it doesn't have to be realistic. Um, if you want to spend time doing that, you are absolutely encouraged to do so. Um, I probably would spend a lot more time if I wasn't doing a video. Um, so let's just say that's it for now. Um, we're going to double click our land layer and we're going to click stroke. Now that's obviously too much. We're going to lower that down just so you have that edge going on. Now another good thing to do in this situation, you can add a drop shadow if you like. Um, that's probably a bit too much of a drop shadow. So we'll lower the distance a little bit. But that gives it a sort of look like it's off the, the page. Uh, and like there's a coast going on. Um, also good is the outer glow feature. So you want to select a bluish color. Uh, let's see here. So I do almost all of this by eye. I don't know. Um, there are people who use like uh, hex colors and stuff and they figure that out, but that's not really for me. So what you can do is you can kind of see, what, see what I mean? You can see where the coasts are and give them a bit of a glow. Um, other stuff you can do at this time is a color overlay, change the color of the land. Um, you could give it an inner glow if you wanted to add beaches um, like this. You could add an inner shadow, um, or you could even add a bevel, which will make it stand off the, the page even more. Now, I don't really think that looks great, but um, just for the map I'm making right now, but that's something you can do. So, um, that's what we've got so far. Now, this is actually a pretty functional map. Uh, at this stage, you kind of know a lot about the place already. I mean, it's, it's all there for you to see. Um, what you can do next is make another layer, and you can call it... Um, let's say landmarks and then you find a suitable brush let's see what I can find here that would apply let's go for vector okay nope that's the wrong one I'll find something in a second Just bear with me as I look through this uh, wall of text um, let's go for New abstract, that sounds good. Uh, also not great. Right, uh, I'm just going to pick the, the standard brushes and I'm going to just make a circle. Well, what the idea here is basically that you make a colored circle, let's make them red, for places of interest. So like, oh, there's a town there and you know there's a city over here as well and they're across the straight from each other. Um, so you can kind of mark this stuff. Um, if you were going to make this a uh, a map you could make it a little bit bigger or you could add another layer with like a legend so if you you know you have uh, those dots which are red and they mean they're like big cities and then you've got you know yellowy dots and those are smaller towns or whatever um, that's something you can do final thing I'll show you um, and again this is a super quick map uh, I will be making step by step tutorials to making like more detailed maps uh, you can just add text and you can call this Exemplia. And now that's obviously way too big, so we're going to double click this. No, we're not. We're going to click this over here, and we're going to lower the size. We're going to lower the size. There we go. And you throw that anywhere, really. i uh, probably put it down the bottom right uh, in most cases. And let's add a little glow behind that. And, like, I mean, there you go. As I said, super quick. Not detailed, um, but a functional map, you know. And you can you can do this kind of. I think map making really helps me come up with ideas for places. Um, so this is like one technique uh, that I would use. So yeah, uh, I hope that. Helps.